For many, Memorial Day weekend is a time to relax and enjoy time with family and friends. But WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones spoke with a mother who lost her son in the Iraq war and who shows us what this time truly means for those who lost loved ones serving their country. This is Kathleen Faircloth. She holds a picture remembering her only son, Bradley, who died while serving in the Iraq war in 2004. He graduated from Davidson High School in 2002 and joined the Marine Corps two years later. She learned the news of her son's death while driving home that Thanksgiving weekend. I couldn't move. I just got paralyzed just sitting there on Dolphin Street. All his high school buddies that were off at college had come in for the weekend. So they were at my house in about 30 minutes and um, life changed. Kathleen says her 19-year journey of grieving her son's death has not been easy. Her pet dogs help keep her company, but she also copes by living her son's future through the people closest to him. God's put me in positions to get to do things that, you know, people with kids will get to do, like go to the hospital, watch a grandkid be born. I've been able to see some babies born and, you know, so I've just put myself like I'm an adoptable grandparent. His friends that uh, loved him let me be part of their family. And I think that's a gift. It's a humongous gift that they include me in their life because they have no real reason to. Kathleen wants this Memorial Day to be a reminder to everyone that it's more than the trips and the vacation. For her, it's a day of appreciation of her son and everyone's service. There's thousands, hundreds of thousands of families in America that have lost someone to war before us because our freedom isn't free. And they're sitting at home missing that person, that daddy, that mama, that grandpa, that uncle, that aunt. And it was such an eye-opening moment to realize. Reporting in Mobile, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.